All right, here I have a uh, 2010 Subaru WRX. Um, check engine lights on. There's a couple codes in the computer. I've already pulled them. It's something to do with the CAN bus communications. Um, this car, this happens when the temperature gets hot. Um, I do not know why, but when the temperature rises above about 95 outside, and you can see here that the temperature is now 97 degrees, um, this car will throw a code. And it's code P0073, and there's some C codes in there as well, which you're going to find out in a second. There's a nifty way to pull these codes out of this car without even having to attach to the OBD2 port, um, which I'm going to show you. So, you got to make sure your headlights are off. Turn the key off, take the key out. What you want to do is, when you turn the key on, you want to push the um, information display button, this button right here and also use the headlight switch and I'm going to show you how to do that here in one second so we got to do this quick for it to work so put the key in turn it on one two three four turn the headlights on one two three four turn the headlights off one two three four turn the headlights on one two three four turn the headlights off one two three four it's not working let's try it again all right so headlights off car on one two three four on one two three four off one two three four on one two three four there they are so there's your code, P0073, and you can cycle through. There's your P code. There's your C code, C0057, C0072, C0047, and so there's three C codes in there. Um, but that's how you do it. You uh, turn the key on with the headlights off. One, two, three, four, headlights on. One, two, three, four, headlights off. One, two, three, four, headlights on. And it should give you the codes. You might have to do that a couple times like I did. And you have to do it fast. So let's see if we can do it again. Just for S's and G's. Car's off. Headlight's off. Get your hand on the headlight switch ready. Turn the car on. One, two, three, four, headlights on. One, two, three, four, headlights off. One, two, three, four, headlights on. One, two, three, four. There's your code. Do it just like that. And you'll get your code every time. So there's only one P code, that's the CAN bus code. And I'm gonna have to look up the other code. Um, I think this either has something to do with the LED lights that I put in, which I don't think it has to do with that. Um, I also put an Optima red top battery in this car, which I am not at all impressed with. Um, the price was high and it just doesn't seem to have the cold cranking amps um, when the temperature rises and you have the ac on there's a big load on the car you come to a stop the idle drops and the the uh, uh um, voltage will drop below i don't know 12.9 something like that that's when i get the check engine light um so i've read online i don't know there's a, supposedly a technical service bulletin out about this car uh for a possible reflash to fix this um i have not dove into it any farther than that other than i will reset the code and drive it around it'll be fine and then the next hot day boom i'll get a code and uh, what will happen is you can't see it now because i've already had it but the cruise will flash um you'll also get the uh uh incline assisted light um i believe the srs light i'm not sure uh, or abs light lights um traction control does not work so your traction control and your stability control does not work. And of course your check engine light will come on. And the other weird thing is sometimes your temperature gauge will just, it'll go, the check engine light will come on, the temperature gauge will go completely whack. It'll go all the way down to cold, It'll then it'll go all the way up to hot and it'll just stay there. Um, the car is not actually running that hot uh, because I got this guy right here, which you can't see at all, can you? No, but it's uh, it has all the information, uh, coming parameters coming from the ECU. Um, so I can look at that and tell you that the engine's only running, you know, 180, uh, but the gauge is all the way pegged. Um, so that might scare some people. Um, if you, so I'm going to tell you right now, if you, all your warning lights come on and your gauge pegs, your engine's probably not cooking. It's just the gauge that's getting all out of whack. So we're going to have to figure this out. Um, if anyone has any ideas what the problem could be and what these codes are, go ahead and uh, post some comments. Love to hear your comments. Uh, like I said, this car is completely stock other than LEDs. Um, I was messing with the LED turn signals. Uh, I took the uh, fast, uh, the blinker bulb out notification off of the, uh, off of the um, blinker module, which you can see in the other, other video. But I was getting this code well before I even did that on hot days. Uh, so 
I really don't know what's going on, but we're gonna we're gonna figure it out. Even if we have to call the Subaru dealer, which I am uh, trying not to. As you see, we got 46,000 miles on here. Uh, after th what three years, 36,000? They're not gonna help me at all. Um, so I'm gonna call up there and we'll see uh, see if we can play with the service advisors a little bit. I'm a service advisor myself, but uh, not for uh, Subaru. So uh, call up there and see what we can do. But uh, until then, peace out.